What is going on, people? It's Annie Tier here, here to bring you a review to uh, what's it's called, a uh, Garden of Sinners movie four, I think. I think that's the. I don't know. You you guys will see when I put it up, when I upload it to YouTube. Long time no see. For first video upload to YouTube, um, I feel great. I feel. I don't not necessarily a hundred percent myself, but more or less close to it. It's just my like I don't feel any pain or anything and but it's just that my sleeping patterns are just a bit they're just a little bit rocky but I'm still getting sleep nonetheless. So, Garden of Sinners episode 4 movie 4 I should say. Um so basically this is the origin of how Shiki got her powers as well as when she first met Toko. Well, at the same time recovering yo this chick is crazy she stabbed herself in the eyes because she was too afraid of her own power look even if I'm seeing death even if I'm seeing like things fall apart I ain't stabbing my own fucking eyes out okay fuck that shit this girl tried to ruin her own eyes fucking crazy little shit golly Apparently, she's told herself that she had no will to live because the other Shiki is no longer alive. She is dead. She was killed. The other personality, anyway, was killed in a car accident. I don't know how necessarily she got in a car accident, but there's no other personality inside of her. So that means she's can finally be her own person without the other personality doing some great bat shit crazy I mean even in the end like Shiki is still bat shit crazy let's be real here but it's better now than how it was before and the most important thing out of this entire thing for me in my opinion we finally we see who is who is the one that caused the problem with Fujino and uh fuck what was the other woman's name the one that couldn't leave the hospital we see the bastard that was causing the problems behind the scene but uh yeah we don't know exactly well we know his name is uh ara sorian ara and he is a wizard or a mage or whatever kind of terminology you guys want to use but here's the catch Why does he sound like Kire? This fucker legitimately sounds like Kire. Like 100%. This dude sounds just like Kire. I don't know if whether they did that on purpose or voice acting just happened to come about that way, but that. Uh, this guy's starting shit. Well, he started shit. And that's a very Kire thing to do. So yeah, um, we finally got the main antagonist. I'm sure it's going to come to a point where Shiki and this guy are going to throw down. Apparently he can grant wishes or give people powers or grant them blessings or whatever. He's got a gift. He's got a gift that can keep on giving essentially. There's literally no more truer words than that statement for, for what this guy basically did. Even though we solved two of the problems, there was a third problem that I don't know about yet. Showed a guy at a, like some kind of a dumpster alley. But I don't know what this guy's motive is. The one handing people gifts or whatever. I don't granting... Oh, shoot, son of a bitch. Sorry guys, it's getting close to when I'm going to sleep soon. So yeah, it's probably why I'm feeling drowsy. Because this is the first time I'm yawning in several hours today. So yeah. Um, so I don't know what his deal is, but I'm definitely curious to find out as we get further on into this series. Um, so far, I am very much so enjoying this. Um, definitely good. I can uh, once again. I said it before. I'll say it again. Hopefully, all you guys like don't go crazy in the comment section just because I'm not exactly. I can't say I support Shiki's character or I really like her because honestly she's just a psychopath. All I see is that this girl is fucking crazy. Even though she lost her other self, her, the other Shiki, she still, she still wants to kill people. Like she still wants to kill. Like for her, killing 
is who she is. It, what she loves to do. I'm like, you're fucking crazy, girly. So whether it's the other Shiki or not, she's still batshit crazy. Yeah. I'm not sure if I can really support a psychopath. Kokuto, he's just he's just an idiot, dude. Toko is like Toko, I, I like her. I like Toko. Toko is probably like my favorite character in this whole movie series. Um Kokuto is just yeah, we already we are I've already talked enough about Kokuto Kokuto to really like I don't need to emphasize it more than it already is. Some people will disagree with me, others might agree with me. Look, I'm not I'm not trying to get people to agree with me. I'm just letting you know what I feel how I feel about certain characters, okay? Whether you disagree with me or agree with me, doesn't matter. Personally, I don't like Kokuto. Kokuto is possibly like the worst character in this whole show for me. Uh, Shiki, I wouldn't say is the worst character. She is the driving force of this series. So she's not the worst character, but I can't say I really condone or care. Like, it's epic when she fights. It's cool when I start learning more about her. Trust me, I, I, I do like that a lot. It's just I can't bring myself to actually feel proud of her character, if that makes sense. I can't feel proud of her, but I like her feats. I feel like people are going to misread that. I li when I meant that I like her feats, like the 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 what she has done, her feats, like like the feats she accomplished in the show. That's what I do like about her that's what I do like about her char her character. Again, but I can't bring myself to like her character completely. Due to the nature of, of who she is and w who and what she is, it, she's crazy. Point blank period. She's just... <whistles> that's just honestly how I feel. But anyway, guys, I'm not going to make this video too long. Um, for those of you wanting to see more mob, I apologize. It's getting a little late. I promise I'll put up some more mob tomorrow. Look forward to that. Um... Questions, questions. Despite Shiki being a killer, and even though she's the main character of this movie series, what are your honest, unbiased thoughts of Shiki? Well, I don't I don't think that's something you can say it's unbiased. What are your bi what are your own personal thoughts? Yeah, I don't I think when it comes to picking characters, you kinda have to be biased. So, and um, question two. If you were in her condition where you had the mystic eyes and you can see death happening and can touch death, what would you do if you have this power? Like, what would, you, what would your thoughts be immediately the moment some when, random wizard came up to you and told you, Hey, you got the eyes to see death. How what would your initial thoughts be if someone told you that? Let me know in the comment section down below. But anyway, guys, that's it for me. Don't forget to like, comment, sub if you haven't already. Really motivates me to put more content out there for you guys as my guildmates. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm out. Bye guys.